Recently, when we visited the apartment or the housing unit, along with Daniel Luria, we walked through the neighborhood where the housing unit was located. It reminded me of the time when we lived in Libya. We had to live in fear, but now things are different. Jerusalem is in our hands, it's in Jewish hands. It will give us an opportunity to show the Arabs that Jews will feel free to walk anywhere in the old city without fear. When I was at uh, my uh, nephew's bar mitzvah 10 years ago, uh, for the first time I met Lati Dan, who made a presentation about Jerusalem High's activities in the old city, trying to recapture properties that were stolen from Jews. I was very impressed by that. I was very impressed by his sincerity and his total dedication to the effort. That told me that this is an organization that is worth supporting. About 10 years ago, I was privileged to take a tour with Mati Dan throughout the old city. He showed us the properties that were reacquired. These are properties who were previously owned by Jews that had to be repurchased from Arabs. Tonight, I would like to take this opportunity to dedicate the housing unit that we acquired to the memory of my brother Joseph. We're calling this housing unit Bet Yosef. We thank Hashem for providing us the resources that enabled us with the assistance of Ateret Kohanim to acquire a housing unit in the old city. To contemplate retreating to the 1967 borders would create inaccessibility to the Kotel and places that are dear to us in the old city. To the Arabs, it's a retreat to 1967 is viewed as capitulation. It's a kind that would only encourage them to continue their wars and continue attacking Israel. We should never allow the retreat to 67 borders. We want to say a deep, deep thank you to the Greatna community and our family and friends for their support of Ateret Kohanim Jerusalem Chai, which is very, very much needed at this time. Most of the praise, though, should be directed to Mati Dan, Daniel Luria, and the entire Jerusalem Chai organization for educating all of us about the importance of investing in the old city. My name is Robert Coppell, and I'm a member of the American Friends of Ateret Kohanim Executive Board. When honorees are selected for a unique cause such as ours, they all generally share some common characteristics. One is that the individuals selected are truly and completely worthy of such an honor. And two, the individuals selected truly and completely do not seek this honor. The honorees that I have the privilege of introducing are no different. I have, in a very cursory way, researched the contributions that Lynn and Nesim Tamam have made on behalf of Atere Kohanim, Israel, and the Jewish people, and I was truly gratified. Israel, and specifically Jerusalem, is not just our eternal capital and the focus of the Jewish people, but because it is ours, others want it. The Tamams understand this perfectly. You are all aware of the efforts of our enemies to delegitimize our right and claim and connection to Eretz Israel and Jerusalem, its capital. The Tamams are also very well aware of this. They're organizing and sponsoring a vigil at the Iranian mission to demonstrate against and publicize the evil Ahmadinejad is an indirect way to defend our Jerusalem. Their purchase of Beit Yosef, a building in the so-called Muslim Quarter, is a way to recreate and cement facts on the ground and physically protect our Jerusalem. These are just a few of the accomplishments that Lynn and Nesim have achieved. The Navi Yeshayahu tells us, Laman Yerushalayim Loeshkot, and for Jerusalem's sake I will not rest. 
We pray daily for Hashem to rebuild our Jerusalem, but Hashem looks to us to rebuild His Jerusalem. The Tamams have learned this lesson very well. I would like to mention their role models. Ines and Shaul Tamams, Yechonam Livracha, the parents of Nesim, and Muriel and Hai Bursky, Lynn's parents, who can all be proud of them at this moment. I would also like to make mention of Lynn and Nesim's children, their daughter Nina, who made Aliyah, and is married to their son-in-law, Yisrael Mishransky, who is currently studying the Technion, and their other children, Avi, Miriam, and Samara. May you have much joy from them and continue to be an inspiration to your community and to your children as you raise another generation of builders of our Jerusalem. Before I ask you to come up and receive your award, I would like to read a letter that was sent by your daughter Nina for this special occasion. Dear, dear mom and dad, please know that I was really hoping to send something in for the video presentation. You know, the one you're so looking forward to. And I just couldn't figure out the technology. Very, very frustrating. So I just wanted to send you a rough version of what, what I would have said. The work that our does is a cause that so perfectly fits my parents. It's about actions and not just words. Taking action quietly and peacefully, but with determination to make a change. Without fanfare, without much recognition, but with amazing results. As complicated as I'm sure it is for our Tarek Koanim to achieve the things they achieve, their mission is so pure and simple and moving. To encourage Jewish life in an area that is so steeped with Jewish history and so close to our hearts. I could not be prouder of my parents for their work with Atera Konim. Mom and Dad, I wish I could be with you tonight. I love you, Nina. And now, please come up and accept your award. Israel Arevim Zelazeh, Nisim and Lin Taman, Vone Yerushalayim Honorees, with heartfelt appreciation to our devoted partners for their unwavering support, generosity, and commitment to rekindling Jewish life in our Jerusalem. American Friends of Atarat Kohanim, Jerusalem Chai, June 1st, 2011. All of Israel is responsible for one another.